Hello, I'm Chris Menard. I have a great Excel video for you today. Getting started with charts in Microsoft Excel. So I have a file already running. I have charts for YouTube as the current worksheet. So tip number one, I got some car manufacturers listed. Quarter one through quarter four in some numbers. Click somewhere inside your data. So don't be in a blank cell. If you want to create a chart on a new worksheet, the keyboard shortcut is just simply press the F11 function key. There's your chart right there. The second keyboard trick is if you want the chart on the current worksheet, it is Alt F1. I will put the Mac Excel keyboard tips that are equivalent to this on the screen. I'm going to leave this chart. That was Alt F1. Tip number two about charts. If you notice, I didn't select any of the data. I just clicked in it. But if you have totals listed, this is technically not a chart tip yet, but just to show you this, I've got the word total. I've got the word total in F1. Highlight your numbers, and if you want to auto sum them, here's auto sum up in the top right corner. Click it once, and there are your totals. That beats auto sum, auto fill, auto sum, auto fill. So, tip number two if you want to make a chart, this time, because I've got quarter one through four, and then I've got totals, the totals are lar larger than the other numbers. So in this case, you do want to select your data. Again, I could use the keyboard shortcuts I showed you for tip number one. But this tip is to go to the Insert tab and see what recommended charts are available. So I'm going to go to Recommended Charts. It is on the Recommended Charts tab. That one looks very familiar. That's what I got when I pressed F11 and Alt F1. This next chart, I'm going to click it once. It's showing me the totals for each car manufacturer going up, and I'm going to hit OK. I want that chart. So somewhat similar to the chart to the right of this, except Ford, instead of having the four columns, one for each quarter, quarter one, two, three, quarter four. So there's another chart. So that was tip number two, highlighting your data and then using recommended charts. Tip number three, and by the way, let me just show you this. The reason you don't want to chart the data and the totals, I'm gonna just do Alt F1 to show you this. That is the chart you'll end up with. So let me delete that one. The tip number three is if another way to make a chart is just select, again, select your data, and we have quick analysis here. Click it once. Charts. There we go. Multiple ways to make charts in Excel. Those are the three tips. I'm going to leave you right there with those. So use the keyboard. Tip number two is select your data and use recommended charts. And tip number three is to use quick analysis. I'll have more videos on charts this month. Feel free to subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, please put them, put them down below and have a wonderful day. Thank you.